Hello everybody, this is BJJ Locke. I'm going to try to explain the Monty Hall problem. Uh, it typically is about opening three doors and trying to find the one car behind them and trying to avoid the junk prize behind the other two. So the question goes, you pick one of them, which will be cups for me because I don't have three doors next to each other. You pick one cup and then the you get revealed that under this one is nothing and you picked one of these other two and then you get the option to pick the other cup or keep your cup you might think that it doesn't matter but the, there is a correct answer and it is to change your cup so I'm going to try to explain that if you think about it we could just make this a bigger problem and I'm going to add more cups and we have 10 cups there's only one prize <clears throat> so you pick your one cup let's just pick this one at random here and then the host takes away the other cups leaving just one more okay now the odds of you picking the right cup from the get-go were ten percent okay the host eliminated all these other cups which he knew had no uh, prize under them and so there's a ninety percent chance this isn't fifty fifty here now there's a ninety percent chance that the prize is under this cup because you only had a ten percent chance of picking that prize if this still sounds weird think about it like you're the host and you're taking away the 10 cups you're clearly going to leave them with if they picked it right first with the prize and a, and a junk prize or you're just going to get rid of all the other ones except for the right one and then they've got the other one that they have so if you think go back to the three cups <coughs> you, if you pick the prize at the beginning <coughs> you and you switch your cups you're not going to you're not going to win the prize obviously. There's a 33% chance you picking the prize right off the bat. Okay? And there's a 66% chance that the prize is in the other two cups. So if you pick anything but the prize and then you switch the cups, you'll have gotten the prize. So I hope this makes a little bit of sense. It's kind of confusing at first, but if you think about it like you're the one who's taking away the prize, it makes a little more sense or think of it like there's a hundred cups and you're gonna take all but one of them away you've pretty much shown them which one is the right answer and that's at a one one percent chance they picked the right one from the beginning so there is a correct choice when I show you there's nothing under this cup and you've picked one of those two switch your cup and and your gives you a 66 percent chance of picking the right answer versus a 33 percent chance hope this makes sense uh, have a nice day